Welcome, everybody, back to the road to Sonic Origins. Now, I've already played Sonic 1 and 2 on the channel before, and I played Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the road to Sonic Origins. And I want to save CD for Origins, so I figured I'd be here playing Sonic Mania. I still remember back in the day when this first was announced how hype this was going to be. And the hype was so well deserved. Only to have the sad thing being the inevitable crash of Sonic Forces. I really wish that Sega would have waited a little bit longer on Sonic Forces, especially not having it, just like having it wait like maybe a year and a half. So that way maybe they could have a bit more time to work on Forces and fix any of the problems, but no. The. I just. Mania outshined. Forces so much. And I'm honestly just excited to come back to this. I played the absolute crap out of Sonic uh, Mania when it first came out. And then played the crap out of it even more when Sonic Mania Plus uh, came out. So yeah. As I've probably stated in my... Sonic 3 Knuckles playthrough. I'm gonna do one run Mania mode, run one run in Encore mode. I'm gonna be running as Sonic and Tails because there's a Super Sonic exclusive boss. So, and I know there's a Knuckles exclusive boss, but you can get to that in Mania as long as you have Knuckles on you. Back to Angel Island, where these mysterious egg robots have gathered. What's this? A gemstone we've never seen before. Okay, I should probably stop that. Alright, Phantom Ruby, do your thing. Let's go back to Green Hill. Oh, it'd be good to be back to Green Hill Zone after so long. Alright. Green Hill Zone, the first stage that apparently always has to be first in a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Nowadays. I feel like Green Hill Zone's been really overplayed as like the starter starting stage for a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Like, I can't be the only one that feels a little sick and tired of returning to Green Hill Zone. It made sense. It makes sense in some cases, like in Sonic Generations, of course the first stage has to be Green Hill Zone. That makes sense. The entire game was meant to celebrate all the years of Sonic the Hedgehog. All 20 years. I believe that was, yeah, that was for the 20th anniversary. This is for the 25th. And I think Origins is supposed to be like the 30th, 30th or 31st anniversary. Anywho, first special stage. God, I was so hyped when I first saw this special stage. Mainly because I like Sonic R. Like, I have the Sonic Gems collection, so I have Sonic R. And I played it quite a bit. And I honestly, it ain't, I'll admit, Sonic R isn't a perfect game, but I like it. Mainly because it's got Metal Sonic as a playable character, and it's the only game where we have Metal Knuckles, but... I mean, also the soundtrack's really freaking good for Sonic R. That was another reason why I really wanted to play it so badly. Other than that, it's a nice little time waster. It's like, if there's nothing else you feel like you want to play, you can always pop on Sonic R, let's do a great soundtrack and just waste some time. Alright, one emerald down, six to go. Oh boy. Uh... I'm not going to worry too much about doing the blue spheres, uh, blue sphere bonus stages whenever I pass a, a checkpoint. I'm not, that's not really a big concern for me at the moment. Though I guess I could show it off uh, once at least. Probably in the next stage. Ah, that was that was nice job, Tails. 
Alright, that's first stage down. Aw, oh, man. Just remembering back to when I first played this and just seeing all the new animations and how smooth the animations are in this, it's just... Oh. I would... I think everybody would love to get, like, more of this. Honestly, I would love to see, like... The smoothest... Uh, I'm trying to figure out the right way to say this. It'd be cool to have, like, a Mania game, but more so based on the Sonic Advanced games. Like, if we got, like, another Sonic Advanced game with, like, all the smooth animations we got from this. As well as probably new playable characters, like, I don't know, Shadow? I don't know. I like Sonic... I like, uh... I like Sonic Advance, the Advanced series, even though the third one, like... My my opinions on the advanced series are it's literally like in its numeric order. Like my fr the first one's my favorite. I like the second one, and then the third one's probably my least favorite out of all of them. All right, special stage number two. Like, I it would be really nice if we get, could get like a Sonic GBA collection. Like we get Sonic Advance one, two, and three, and then get uh, Sonic Battle as well. Cause like if you're gonna if you're gonna make like a collection with the three advanced games, you might as well put in Sonic Battle, considering it's like the fourth Sonic game that I know of that's on the GBA. Sonic Battle was fun. I love Emerald. He's a good character, even though it's really sad at the end. And second chaos. Considering that we're getting. Yet another classic Sonic collection, basically. I know the, the I think the Mega Collection has like the first three Sonic games. I never got the Mega Collection, but I think that's what the whole crux of it was. I, think. I don't know. I'm trying I'm trying to think of things to talk about when I'm also trying to focus on the game because I don't know. I can't do those two things at once. Of course. Oh yeah, the drop dash. Oh, that's what I remember. That's another thing that I remember coming back to Sonic. That's coming into Sonic Origins for I think the anniversary mode is having the drop dash be an ability that Sonic can use. I'm not gonna be a mid. It's gonna be pretty neat to be able to drop dash through. No! Okay, Tails. There you are. There we go. Oh, so thankful I've got Tails with me. Dang it. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. I've done this, I don't know how many times before, and yet I... Whenever it comes to report, I just find some way to screw it up. Let's play Curse, I'm telling you. I require the Aqua Shield. Oh man, the drop dash was like one of the most clever things to add in this game. It really makes like picking up speed and going faster a lot easier. And, some, and I'll be honest, like, after playing Sonic Mania so much, it was kind of jarring to go back to, like, Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 without the drop dash and having to, like, readjust myself to not want to keep using the drop dash. Also, if it wasn't obvious uh, how these special stages work, uh, collect blue spheres, go faster, collect rings, increase your time, chase the UFO with the Chaos Emerald. Uh, UFOs from Sonic CD. The entire basically layout of how this controls uh, basically is from Sonic R. Uh, I believe the ring timer is from Knuckles Chaotix. I've never played Knuckles Chaotix, but it's one that I've been interested in playing. And to be honest, I don't really know any games that are on the 32X besides Knuckles Chaotix and Spider-Man Web of Fire. Those are the only two games on the 
on the Sega 32X that I know of that exists. I'd have to look up for what, how many other games were actually made for the 32X. I'm trying to think, what the hell was the point of the 32X? I I don't know what the point of it was. All right. <laughs> First boss in the game, Death Egg Robot. I genuinely love how ambitious this is. Okay. Um, before I hit that capsule, I'm I'm gonna pause it here because if I hit that capsule, it's gonna go into the stage transition animation, and I kind of want to save that for the beginning of the next part. So. Uh, I gotta be honest, I forgot to start my timer to see how long I've been recording, so I'm going to assume it's close to 15 minutes, that's what I kind of want to keep, so I apologize if it's a little, if it's shorter than 15, but that's kind of how I want to keep, I still want to keep like the 15 minutes, and if I have to, I'll go to 20 minutes. So, thank y'all for coming by to watch this, I really appreciate it, and y'all know the deal with the outro, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all will return for the next video. Until then, everybody, have a good day.